Good morning, everybody. Another beautiful day in Punta Cana. So I had to come to the bank one more time. And uh, as usual, you have the line. The Dominican Republic reached a new daily record of COVID-19 infections on Thursday, adding 1,572 new cases in the last 24 hours. The new number of people who have contracted the disease in the country reached 57,615. In addition, there is another death from this cause, for a total of 1,006, while the cumulative case of fatality rate is 1.75%. However, based on deaths recorded in the last four weeks, the case fatality rate is 1.14%. The daily figures have soared as a result of the outbreak of infections in the National District, a sector that today registered the majority of new positives. The Minister of the Presidency, Gustavo Montalvo, explained that the measures contemplated by the current state of emergency that came into effect on Monday and whose curfew began yesterday from 7 at night in the National District of Santo Domingo and 14 other provinces, while in the other jurisdictions, it starts at 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. For the traffic restrictions, he informed that, that the recently issued safe conduct permits are still valid and that they must be physically carried and be shown in original, together with a, a personal ID to the authorities that request it. They are only valid in transit work. Permits are for the transit of health personnel or people with health problems, basic services, press, and for employees of economic activities with multiple shifts or with a continuous work of 24 hours, such as industries, free zones, mining, pharmacies, hospital construction, among others, said the Minister of the Presidency. He informed that the transport of goods and fuel have a free transit without the need to carry safe conducts. According to Montalvo, restaurants can continue to operate in home delivery and pickup mode and also provide service in open spaces, such as terraces, and in the interior areas operated with the doors and windows open, always keeping a two meters of distance between each table. Grocery stores and places to sell alcoholic beverages will not be able to open tables for the public, for which reason all seasons should only be to take away. All commercial activities continue the differentiated schedules previously mentioned at 7, 8, and 9 a.m. And remember that businesses that can work out by appointment such as beauty salons, doctor's offices, must remain in this modality. Gyms that were recently authorized to open must close again, Montalvo reported. The official affirmed that the decision to keep these places closed is because the use of masks is not recommended while exercising. Until further notice, public spaces and swimming pools are closed. The beaches will remain open to the public, respecting the distance measures. The galleras continue to be prohibited in the current state of emergency. Public parks will remain open so that the population can exercise outdoors and with natural ventilation, although always keeping a due distance with others. The religious services will continue to be authorized as before, maintaining the rules of hygiene and social distancing. The use of public and private passenger transport will continue to be limited to 60% of its capacity for minibuses and buses, both urban and interurban trains, and the cable cars. We also insist on the obligation to wear masks on the streets, in our public places and in the workplace, as well as the need to continue to exercise extreme caution with hand washing and surface sanitization, said Gustavo Montalvo. The public sector will continue operating all its services and not during regular service hours, but with the necessary personnel. The rest of the staff will work under the modality of teleworking, expanded the official. The Minister of the Presidency said that the land borders of the country will continue to be closed, except for the transport of goods. The curfew will take effect from July 21st of the current year for a period of 20 days, at the end of which the measure will be reviewed based on epidemiological developments in the country.